What's up, Blender Savages? So today in Blender Savage, I will show you the uh, camera movement guide, and we're gonna move the Blender camera just like the camera movement guide. Who knows, maybe next time you'll be the next Steven Spielberg or uh, Quentin Tarantino or any other director that hasn't been canceled yet. Let's go. Now on to the uh, camera moving guy. So here's the scene I made. Uh, if you're wondering how to make this uh, city scene right here, there's a link in the description and you can click on the link up there uh, above as well. And uh, there's an instructional video on how to create this using the discombobulator. All right, so uh, let's get started. So first of all, first off, I'm gonna access the camera view. I'm at zero on the number pattern. There we go. That's my camera view there. And as you can see here, there's a, a square there. Let me zoom out. You can spin the wheel there, zoom in and out. That's a camera frame. If your camera's not selected while you're in camera view, you can actually just click on that frame right there. Boom, you have camera frame there selected. Go away, OneDrive. All right, now I'm gonna split my screen in half so uh, you guys can see the camera moving on the other side. And uh, split your screen in half or to add extra panels here, extra windows into Blender. What you wanna do is hover your mouse over one of these little uh, corners here until your mouse becomes a, a plus sign like this. So I'm gonna add one over here on the left side, so I'm gonna hover it right there. Hold down the left mouse button and drag. And there we go, cool, so you have another window there. Let me get out of that view there. And remember, wherever your mouse is located, your commands, your hotkeys will take effect there. And here we go, I want the camera right there visible so you can see what's going on. All right, so first on the list, we got the dolly shot. So the dolly shots, when you zoom in or out, in film, they actually uh, put the camera on rails. Well, I don't know if they still do that, but they would uh, traditionally put the camera on rails and the camera would uh, zoom in or zoom out. So to do that, it's gonna be G for grab. So you grab the camera there while, you're while you have it selected. Also do these while you're in camera view so you can see what's going on. And then hit the Z key two times. So G, Z, Z. And now you can move the camera inward and outward. So you can start zooming into my city there. There we go, play some dramatic music or um, the intro from Family Member from Family Matters. Da, 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 da. I can't sing that at all. There we go. I have no rhythm. There we go. We're zooming out and we're zooming in. Cool. So that right there is the dolly shot. All right. And notice it was G for grab and then Z two times. All right. The next two are also start out with G for grab. G is G is the command. And if you look over here on the right side in the properties panel, you can see right here the changes that are taking place as I transform the camera here. G Z Z. You can see there the uh, the location changing there for X and Y. Not so much the Z, but uh, a little bit of the Z because the camera is at this weird angle. All right, and now for the pedestal shot. Pedestal shots, when you go up and, up and down, it's usually used for um, create like an emphasis or something like when there's a villain there and you scan them from like the, from the feet and then the camera goes straight up. So the camera is not rotated, it's just sliding up and down. So let me show you. I'm in G for grab, Z to Z once. Z one time, and there it is. Snaps to the Z axis from the uh, from the grid right there, from the world, and it just goes up and down. There we go, we're going underground. We're going up, See, there we go. And we're going back down. G and then Z for grab there. As you can see here, only the Z axis was changing there in the uh, properties panel. All right, that was a pedestal shot. It's also known as a jib or boom shot, uh, because they would put a crane on it with the counterweight so they can move it up or down, and then the crane was called either a, a jib or a, or a boom, or some parts of it were called like that. I don't know, I don't work in Hollywood. That'd be cool if I did, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not your guy. All right, now for the truck shot. The truck shot uh, was also done by putting the camera on rails, and it would slide left and right. So you can have it here, you can use it to follow character, or do like a sweep here of a, of a, of a cityscape of a skyline. So to slide it from left and right, it's gonna be G for grab and then X two times, G, X, X. And there we go, we can slide it left and right right there. Notice it's not sliding along the X axis from the uh, grid here, from the world, it has its own X axis there. G, X, X, see X axis of the camera itself. There it is, left and right for the camera. There you go, so I'm just right clicking to turn off the tool. All right, so that's the truck shot, sliding left and right. And up next on the list, we have the pan. So usually people refer to all of these as a pan, but uh, industry insiders, they know that uh, there's only one pan. And then the pan is, 
It's like a scan when you do one of these. So you stay in the same place and you just rotate your head or just rotate the camera. But the camera doesn't move from location, we're just rotating it. So to do that, it's gonna be R for rotate and then Z. Just snap it to the Z axis there and we're just, go, we're just turning our heads there. Looking over your right, looking left. And uh, this one's rotate and the next two will also start out with rotate. So the previous ones were G for grab and this one and the next two are gonna be R for rotate. And notice over here, only the Z axis changes. And there we go. So that right there is the pan. And now for the roll, the roll. The roll, I would not recommend um, using it. Try to refrain from using the roll. The roll's tricky to use. Usually it's used in cinema to um, show that the story has flipped upside down or the, the protagonist's life has flipped upside down. The protagonist's world is upside down underwater. So to do that, it's going to be R for rotate and then Z two times. And there you go. We're going to flip your world upside down. And there it goes. And you can keep going. You know, maybe we'll do a spiral thing as well, but um, it's just tricky to use it. It just looks kind of sloppy, and it just might make your viewers dizzy, but it's possible there. R, and then two Zs, and you get yourself a roll, or a barrel roll. A barrel, just like rolling a barrel, except uh, you're doing a roll barrel move somewhere, right? This stays in the same place. We're just doing a spin here. All right, and last but not least, we have the tilt. We have the tilt. So this one is similar to the... Um, jib or boom shot or pedestal shot except it's different this one the camera stays in place and it just rotates up or down it does like a different type of scan whereas the uh, pedestal shot moves up and down this one stays in the same place and just does one of these like you're uh you go up to somebody and you're thinking about fighting them so you look them up and down and like are they taller than me or shorter than me should i fight them or not actually we should not be fighting people but you guys know what i'm talking about the guys not the women I would imagine guys are a little more likely to try to fight somebody. So R, X two times. And there it is. Right there. R, X, X, S. R and then X two times. And then you can rotate up or down. If you think my comment was sexist about men uh, more likely to fight, let me know in the comments below. There it is. R, X, X. And then the camera stays in the same place. We're just rotating it, look, or looking up and down. So there you go. So that's your camera movement guide. If uh, you found this helpful, please leave me a like, a comment, especially a comment. I like that. Comments are awesome. If you don't like my beard, leave me a comment there. If you think my hair is too greasy, leave me a comment there. Maybe I'll try a different hair product next time. I don't really uh, brush my hair that much because I'll brush it and then it just gets ruined. It's, it's hard to maintain it, but I like it long. Anyways, enough about me. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like and comment. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, share it if you think uh, somebody else might uh, find it useful. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Take care. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.